I'm gonna show you the simplest way to put fishing line onto a bait caster. There's only a few things you need, and those things obviously are a bait caster, some fishing line. I'm gonna be using some braided fishing line in this video, but this can be applied to any fishing line you guys are gonna put on your bait caster. You're gonna need some electrical tape, a pair of scissors, or line snippers, and then you're going to need a fishing rod. So let's get to it. The first step is to put your bait caster onto a fishing rod. We've got our musky rod here because that's all that I had with me inside. All my other fishing rods are actually in my car. But there we go, we've got our bait caster on a fishing rod. And for the next part, we're gonna set our combo on a surface where it can sit similar to this. This way the handle of the reel is holding it up, prop it up like this on some sort of a surface. So next we're gonna take our fishing line out of the box, find the end of the line, and then we're going to run it through a couple of the fishing rod guides down to the bait caster. Piece of electrical tape here. We're just gonna use that to stick our fishing line to the spool, just like that. And then that way we can just spin the handle once and then we have our line wrapped around the spool the first time. Take that guy off. And now we've got this situation right here. So all we're gonna do here is do a triple overhand knot. Boom, boom. So now we've tied down three times. You can pull this part back through the line guide. Take your scissors, cut that tag end off. Take another small piece of electrical tape, tape that knot down to the spool. So that way it's held in place and we don't get any slipping with the braided fishing line. And personally, if I were you guys, I would put the spool of line back in the box. So that way you can avoid any kind of line tangles or anything like that. And you can also just do it like that. So once I get my spool of line back in the box, I will use a piece of tape like this and have the line coming out of the corner. That way it can easily come out of the box, just like that. We're gonna set our box down. All you gotta do is leave your line in the box that it came with and basically just start reeling in. Don't do what I did here, guys. Use a pencil and stick it through the center of your spool or use something to hold your box and spool in place. And you're just gonna keep reeling in until your spool is full. And now our bait caster is fully spooled. As you guys can see, we took it right up to the lip on the spool there. And then that way it is not too full and it is perfectly spooled. So this is what we're looking like. Turned out really good. And that is how I spool my bait casters. I'll probably get some comments about me using my feet to hold down the spool, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta use what you have available. Ideally, I would have used a pencil probably to stick that through the center of the spool, and that is the simplest way to spool your bait caster. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.